I want to talk about the first time I've ever seen you and your content. Mm -hmm. I've watched Country Wayne video series, which premieres on YouTube and Facebook. And, you know, I've, I've since, I don't want to say since day one, but I've caught up after, you know, catching up to it and whatnot. And, you know, you have the series with his kids, his son is dating Blake, and mm -hmm. then Blake's you know, introduces her father, who is you, but then turns right. out to be the stepdad because Mike <laughs> comes into the right. picture, right? Um, so let's talk about that, how you even got involved with... That is a funny story, too, bro, because yeah. it's like, all right, so took a step back, and then Wayne told me how the storyline was going to go, I was like, all right, cool. And then um, I'm like, yeah, but you know, he get the look, yeah, whoever this new stepdad is, and you know what I'm saying? He'll come in, he'll be in, he'll be out. And then they introduce the stepdad, uh -huh. and then I see... 2,500 heart emojis <laughs> going across the comments. And I'm like, yeah, he's here to stay. <laughs> and old Jordan Jackson's probably out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but then, you know, so then I'm like, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, that what we doing? We Tyler Perry in this thing now. All right, that's cool. And then I meet Mike Bliss, and I'm like, this dude is the greatest dude ever. Was able to work with him. Great attitude. Same guy every time. Yeah. But, yeah, it was different. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because... You know, it was it was out with the old, in with the new, mm -hmm. and a lot. You know, I was with Country Wayne day one. You know, what I'm saying we were just shooting skits, yeah. doing. Uh, I was the very first person that he actually did a real long content with because he was just you know holding the phone mm. to his face. Okay. And I, a friend of mine, uh, Zach Veach, we shot some videos, weatherman video. They went stupid through the roof. Then what year they, was this? This was uh, <clears throat> two thousand, maybe sixteen. So how did y'all even like meet and start producing content together, you um, and Country Wayne? My uh my home club, Atlanta Comedy Theater, mm -hmm. was uh managed by uh, uh Garrett Abdul, who's uh the the current um well one of the managers for Matt Reif and a whole bunch of other people. He's he done did he was Dave Chappelle, he was with uh, uh Ricky Smiley, really bringing up a lot of content yeah. and a lot of great uh uh, uh, comedians. So he ended up managing Country Wayne for a little while and mm -hmm. ended up putting me on the tour uh, with Country Wayne. Okay. And that's how I ended up um, getting that. And he's like, but you won't be able to come to all the shows, yeah. uh, but the local ones. And I was like, no, I fight for free. He's like, yeah, you'll be on all the shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so he ended up he putting me... In the budget at yeah, first, so, so yeah, he okay. ended up, you know, because, you know, he was just starting out. He's doing yeah. one-nighters. Right. Um, and and that's how I hooked up with him. And I was so excited. I ran to the green room like, hey, how you doing? And he was like, yeah, I know you are. I've been seeing your content out there. So, you know, show me love right off the rip. And when he told me that I was going to be doing it, I'm like, yeah, because, you know, people say that all the yeah. time. You know, they LA, yeah, yeah let's do lunch. You Hollywood know what I'm saying? Talk, I thought it was yeah. one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got the call, I'm like, yeah, we got it. And he sends me this calendar, bro, with like... 70 dates on there, bro. Mm. We're doing these cities. We're doing like nine to 10 shows each, mm. each weekend. And I go out there, bro, and fall on my face. Mm. <laughs> Literally, I never performed in front of that many people. Oh, okay. And the shows, were, you know, they were okay. And this was 2016? 2016 okay. at the um, Columbia House okay. in uh, 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 Columbia, South Carolina. Gotcha. At the Comedy House. Gotcha. And I, I, did, I just didn't do that good and one of the comedians was on the show was like it was telling them oh man you need to um get some i know some heavy hitters that dude just ain't got it but you was like no nah, man the dude he got it man he's naturally funny he's making me laugh he, you know he get it so yeah. he pulled me to the side and he was like yo you gotta let these people know my fans know that i chose you you're the person that i chose to be my feature act and let them know so i start doing this like little testimony of like you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful. You know, Country Wayne could have chose anybody, but he chose me to be his opening act. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gave me a connection with the audience a little bit. And But it, that was about a, at the last show. So when it's time to go get my money, right? I was like, yeah, I know. It's over. I ain't even look him in the face. I begged him to get the money. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and seriously, bro, this is a real story. You can't make this up. Yeah. And so... He was giving my check. He was like, yeah, man, you know, uh, I said, I appreciate the opportunity, man. I'll get with you later. And he was like, no, we got uh, seven more shows in Memphis. And Memphis, and Memphis tends out like, we do? He's like, yeah, yeah, man. He's like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, just let them know. So I opened up that first show, letting them know right off the rip because I was doing a testimony at the end. Yeah. And it worked better. And then the rest of history, all the shows are just good from then, bro. But mm. yeah, but he could have given up on me. Yeah. And he didn't, bro. But there was a lot of people in his ear telling him that he should. Wow, man. That's what's up, bro. And shout out to you for, you know, realizing to lay that foundation from the jump to build that connection and ultimately build that confidence within you to, you know, let you do your thing on it. Uh, that's what's up. Um, 
But just how you saying, you know, he had faith in you and, you know, really made sure you were good and ate and everything. I hear that a lot just from interviews he does and people that have been featured on his shows like you and Mike and Rolanda and whatnot speaking on how he makes sure everyone eats. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that's important, and shout out to him for that. You know what I'm saying? Because he transitioned that. Sounds like he transitioned it from the stage to the skits. For you, right? sure, yeah. bro. Like, that that transition was was huge because he done took the show and made it to an all-out soap opera. Literally. And, and uh, a lot of people can learn from it because the storyline is really um, the direction to go. So, you know, this brother really had great ideas and the fact that uh he was able to take someone that nobody really believed in because mm -hmm. i was i was catching a lot of flack in atlanta oh this mm -hmm. guy ain't funny you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying uh, he could have somebody better he didn't listen to that and it changed my life and but now you know you got to be transparent you know you, you changed my life but i also rechained my life by not being financially correct with the money you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying you start making money like that you're on tour yeah month years mm -hmm. you know and and when saving you know i got mm -hmm. these red bottoms yeah okay so that so that <laughs> one uh so the one skit a uh, skit i really like is when mike kind of reimburses you with a check and what you say <laughs> i want to give me some what you call them balissa and yeah, some, some Balenci and Agas. Balenci and Agas, right <laughs> so that was kind of, so there's like a lot of like is it like transparency between the real world and the skits a lot? Because the, the bro, real names are something. used. Yeah, the, the storyline is still going right now. Uh -huh. The storyline that I brought to Mike, which is the uh, 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 the D situation, uh -huh. the poker, the gambling, all yeah. that was my real life, bro. Wow. So that was easy to 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 and and to see where it's expanded from and still going mm -hmm. after because. Wayne had left and went to uh he, he he went out the country for a little while to shoot this 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 great uh TV show that's about to come out real soon for Apple TV. Okay. So me and Mike was there running the page, doing the doing all the production stuff. And like Mike really uh took me up under the wing and gave me an opportunity that it would have been hard to really get. So he listened to my input. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He could have had an ego then, like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a right and all, bro. Yeah. But you know, I, you know, I had a lot of information to give him. Right. He used it yeah. and 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 destroyed it. And it was just, it was just amazing for us to be able to come together like that and put real life situations in it. Because the relatability is gonna be there when you when right. you're coming from a place of realness. And this same thing on stand up. Yeah. As in video, mm. being real, being transparent, Which bring that, life. yo, yeah, you're real. but you know, who wants to be vulnerable? Who wants to say, hey, I I, I, I should have did better with the money? Right, no, you want right. to say, no, nah, because you, you still going to have the $800 shoe that you shouldn't have bought, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, facts. The real transparency is who hasn't messed up a bag? Right. You know so what I'm saying? They can relate to it more. No matter yeah. how big the bag is, we done messed up some Everyone money. Has. We, Everyone everybody has. Everybody has. Especially when you got your first hands on something decent. You like, can relate to that, bro. Has. Come yeah, on. Yeah, life is a window, not a mirror. I like that. Um, overall, it sounds like the staff, I hear, I hear good things about the staff just in general. Like, it's great energy. It's family, bro. Yeah. It's all family, mm -hmm. and it's it's and it's and love. Um, When you see each other, it's love. When you don't see each other, it's DMs, it's text messages, how you doing, what's up? And... I like the togetherness of that, and and to know that you got family for life. I got Mike Bless as a brother for life. I got Rose as a sister for life. Amber as a sister for life. Erica supports everything I do, and 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 really the whole team. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Everybody, you know, you name dropping. Yeah, he didn't say me, you know, but you know that cast over there and the things we got accomplished yeah. is is just love. But I, you know, I got a shout out to the team that that that. That I have with me too, though. You know, yeah. so I got Pablo, Kelly Kales, uh, uh, Myron Jewell. Um, you know, there's a lot of us. Oh, I forget. Did I forget anybody, Pablo? That's it. That's the squad. And um, so it's you know because you need that team of people to motivate you, yeah. to stay motivated, to, to 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 keep bouncing ideas off of each other. And yeah. I'm I'm the type of guy. If I rock with you, bro, I'm not gonna let you sleep. Mm. At all, we yeah. we getting it. Yeah, we ain't no, ain't no. I'm tired. Ain't no. Right. We mamba mentality. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm the best friend you ever want to have, bro. Because I'm gonna hold you accountable. Yeah. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make you go get it, even if you don't feel like getting it. Because that's what a real friend does. A real one, not what you 
you know, one of his, what you need to hear. Yeah, as you, far as you the need that. You need to do. Ask K-Dub. Kelly K Dub would tell you, bro, like I've been on plenty of sets with him. I'm like, nah, bro, you can do way better than that, man. Mm-hmm. That that you 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 better than that. Yeah. Don't let him, don't let him uh 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 they, 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 it ain't right, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah, maybe it takes and I, that's why I am on my content now. I'm not finna shoot I used to shoot fifty skits and hope the twenty hit. Mm-hmm. Not doing that no more. Yeah. We're gonna shoot this one till it's done right. Cut, mm-hmm. cut, yeah. cut. <laughs> until, until we get it. Quality, you know, quantity. That's what's up. So as far as the skits, um, it's going great. Like you said, it's pretty much a soap opera at this point. Is it still going? Is there anything like more or bigger at the end of the road with it? Like what's? Oh yeah, it ain't gonna never stop, bro. Yeah. Like it's it's a it's a it's a continuous story. Um, my storyline, people can hear. Why you ain't on the country? Why ain't skits? Well, you know. Wayne, he puts put you know, it's put me in, coach. When he's ready, the storyline mm-hmm. is there. You know, he's already told me where it's gonna go. So yeah. The last episode was me, um, me getting saved, mm-hmm. and it's gonna it's gonna roll from there. But you know, there's a million storylines on there. He's one person, so it's so, never gonna stop. Ain't no. Stop. Well, you know, well, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm I'm not saying Fast and the know, Furious is gonna no, go for the next fifty years. But it I'm ain't saying. gonna stop. Now I didn't say that. You know, some of the people, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, might yeah. be moving on right. to bigger and better things because yeah. you know that's that's, that's just the ultimate life. goal, honestly. Right. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, because you know, you got a TV show coming up, a lot of stuff coming up. So yeah. it's but the 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 the, the you know the machine gonna always be there. Maybe new right. faces, but you know it, right. it, it don't stop. That's what's up, man.